Hey, my name is Boogie2988, and this is my quarter million dollar home. Seriously, doing YouTube cribs now? Is that what we're going to start doing? Look at him. He lives in like a really nice neighborhood, too, if you look at it. Dollar home. Look at all those houses. Like every house around him is huge. But then he cries about money. Oh my God. So I bought this place back in 2015. Um, it's got pretty much all one floor because I'm pretty anti-stairs. We still have uh, Christmas lights up in February. Don't turn them on, but they're there. On top of that, we have Halloween decorations I just haven't bothered picking up. That's kind of great. Um, we don't really do a lot of yard maintenance until the housing authority gets on us. Yeah, and then Desi does it because we saw that in the documentary that she was pruning your friggin' trees for you. In this area, we got five bedrooms. We got two and a half baths and uh, five bedrooms. What do you need five bedrooms for, Boogie? One for you and one for your BS. Oh, God. Someone made that joke, actually. You know what? It's, it's seriously, Boogie. You and Desi live together. Therefore, y'all have one bedroom. What are the other four bedrooms for? Your crap. <laughs> All your crap. You and when you and Des were together, you had five bedrooms for what? I have filled it with useless. And my, my ex-wife asked me, buy me a nice house and we'll stay in Northwest Arkansas forever. So this is the house she and I picked. And I don't know, I just refuse to move out of it at this point. Uh, now, as we come in, be prepared to be assaulted by dogs, okay? Beware of dogs, beware of dogs. Hi, puppy. Oh. The babies. I love this place. It's not a thought place I ever thought I would live in. I like. I'm so. Look so how huge his freaking living room is. Oh my god, that's that's massive. Stoked that I get to live in a place like this. Probably have to sell it sometime in the next year. Uh, but for now, it's mine. Can okay, we turn off the royalty-free rap? You know, background music. I mean, Boogie, we don't need that. Use it for the intro. Okay, so here's a space that I hardly ever show because it's my private space. It's my lived in space, but I'll show it to you. Even though you showed it in multiple of your fake videos where you and Desi try to be kept on the camera. It's been on a handful of videos. It's also oh. always messy. So no judging, no judging, but come on in. This is my bedroom. You'll notice there's not a lot of nerdy stuff. There's not a lot of gaming stuff. I wanted it to be like the one normal room that was free of all of that stuff. I also thought maybe I'd have a few women over and maybe they wouldn't want to look at Pac-Man the whole time they were here. One of my more expensive. I'm sure Pac-Man was the problem when you brought ladies over to come in your bedroom. I'm sure Pac-Man would have been the, the straw that broke the camel's back collectibles my cpap machine my bipap machine if i don't sleep with this there's a real chance i could die so i have to fill this thing with water every night and pop it on how do i look luke i'm your father <laughs> is this sexy i'm never selling this house because of this fucking you just said that you were gonna sell the house to boogie bathtub. i fit in this bathtub there's not a house in Fayetteville that has a tub big enough for me. You don't know that for sure, but okay. In fact, it's got, it's got room for two. I know for a fact, because I've had several other people in here with me. Well, you know you could just get a hot tub, right? You know, that, that'd probably be a lot better than having a, a giant bat. So Boogie doesn't take showers. I don't see a shower head anywhere in there. Well, no, maybe the thing to the left is a shower. Is that a separate shower? Is that a thing when someone has a giant bathtub and a shower? I don't know. Every house I've ever lived in or even been in generally had like a shower tub combo, but he has one of them fancy houses, so maybe he does have a separate shower to his left. You want to see me in my best? You want to see me in my happiest? That's where it's just weird that if that's a shower, then why is there like this huge step up to get into the shower, you know? If that's what that is. It's gonna be. Look at this. We have 
a collection of gaming t-shirts. We've got like it just seems like if you're in a shower where you gotta step like a foot or two up to get into the shower, like that'd be like a prime way to fall out of the shower and like hurt yourself when you're getting out and you're already, you know, you're all wet and slippery, you know. Binding of Isaac, more Binding of Isaac. We've got Boogie merch. We've got Stranger Things. We have Daggerfall. Who owns a Daggerfall t-shirt? That's so... Look how ritzy that neighborhood is, though. Just look, all the houses are at least a couple hundred grand. Like, none of the houses are... He probably even lives in a gated neighborhood on top of that. Like, seriously? Cool, right? You know, I think someone put it in my comments earlier that the median income for Fayetteville is actually like 28 grand. So Boogie basically wanted to live large and in charge and wasn't going to settle for no less because he thought he was big, bad Boogie. And now he's just realized that you can't do that with the YouTube. He in a chat. Well, you could if you're like Moist Critical or Mr. Beast or something. Even Mr. Beast, I think, said that he doesn't live in a huge house. I, I don't know if they've ever done a Mr. Beast house tour, but I think he basically say, he, at least for the most part, until someone tried to break into his stuff, had like a just a boring small house. And I think he eventually had to move into like a slightly bigger, more secure house. But like he doesn't have there's no Beast Mansion, I don't think. As far as I know. So this is where the magic happens. And I don't mean. Actually, doesn't he live on that complex though? Didn't he buy like all that warehouse and ended up setting up his own little living quarters there? I mean, he might be doing that, but I think he, I don't think he, he might. I don't know. You know, that kind of magic. Trust me, there's nothing happening in the bedroom. Um, but this is where me and my friends get together once a week and we play our favorite board games and play Dungeons and Dragons and play Magic the Gathering. And if I'm honest, I think this is probably my favorite room in the house. So this is the center of my universe right here. If I'm not in front of my webcam, if I'm not filming YouTube videos and I'm not playing games, I am sitting in this chair with my dogs in my lap, watching good shows on my giant television, playing video games on my PlayStation or my Xbox, and just enjoying being me. So this is kind of like a spillover gaming space. When we have enough people, which is pretty much always, playing magic we'll have a couple of games playing here we have all of these arcade machines these were given to me by the company that makes them arcade one up i right, said so gave it to you so those are free all right and they were all review units i'm not really attached to them i think they look cool but i don't really ever play them or anything so i'm i think these are some of the first things to go but i think this room looks cool it does look cool i'll give them that i don't use it ever but I think it looks cool. Yeah, so this is where I filmed my um, e-bagging video. Where I Which we already covered. It's actually video one in the entire Boogie series. So if you want to go back and watch all of my Boogie content, which there's a lot at this point, over 50 videos, I think, then, uh, yeah, start at the very beginning. There's a link in the description. I explained that I was going broke and that I didn't. I believe that video was called Boogie 2988 when a millionaire bags or something like that. I can't remember. I lose my house and I didn't want to lose my, my career and I wanted to keep doing what I do for a living. I didn't want to be YouTube Boogie 2988. I just wanted to be, I just wanted to appeal to people as me. So I wanted to get away from my set. I wanted to get away from the web camera i wanted to film it on a real camera and in a real space <sighs> going into the kitchen the kitchen's always pretty junked up we're two bachelors so don't judge us too much i love this kitchen two bachelors what about desi uh, what, she, what, what would she be a bachelorette uh, i don't know it's hard for me to stand long enough to cook in it but we cook in it probably every day at least one meal why are you not charging chad or whatever the guy's name is that invisible guy we've never seen any rent you know what i mean like you, you pay him fifteen hundred dollars a month to live with you it should be the other way around where he pays you fifteen hundred dollars a month for rent you know food light, lights whatever his part of it but it's like the inverse uh and i mean since I've i mean he could just go sleep on somebody else's couch in the ghetto if they want in fayetteville you know or if he wants to be cheaper but like 
I don't understand that. You know, even if it's like, oh, well, I pay him because he helps me around the house. He doesn't pay rent. So, of course, he should help around the house. He has to earn his keep some way or another. Losing money. We eat all our meals out of here, if I'm being honest with you. We don't really eat out anymore. We cook a lot. And uh, let's show you the fridge. I know you probably want to at least take a look into the fridge. We have our diet sodas. We've got our drinks for guests. We've got our condiment selection. And our, we even have, like, look. I love a wedge salad. I do eat some healthy food. So I do, but I, I know it's poison. This is literal a bucket of chemicals that I pour into my face three times. I don't care about that boogie. Seriously, I'll, I'll give him a pass on a Mountain Dew Zero. It has no calories, and I drink A&W Zeros like they're going out of style, and Gatorade Zeros, and all that stuff. And, you know, I can attest somebody that has, you know, sugar problems. If I chug, you know, two or three cans of A&W, I could check my sugar, and it didn't move up a point. So there ain't no sugar in it. Today, I know I shouldn't. Plus, A&W Zero is just incredible. Oh, my God, it's so good. This is my spare bathroom, or as my ex-wife who decorated it calls it, the bat room because it's all decorated in kitty versions of batman stuff you got the batman towel hanger the batman shower curtain the batman lights ain't nothing wrong with that i love batman switch the batman posters i don't know why she liked batman so much but you know my bathroom was actually painted that same color and it's just i i think we need to eventually repaint it only reason we never repainted it when i uh, basically renovated you know re remodeled dad's entire house was because well i didn't want the paint fumes and i heard the paint fumes can actually be uh uh harmful to dogs and i didn't want the babies to get sick and even if it was just a little bit of respiratory distress i don't want them to be hurt sick nothing ever uh, i want them to be happy 24 7 you know if they're not happy and bouncing around and just being acting like a couple of little kids i want them to be asleep you know dreaming about happy stuff like i don't want anything to hurt them ever so that's why i didn't do the bathroom like i should have this is her bathroom and it's the one room i didn't change after we got divorced because hmm. She decorated it. It's nice to have a little memory of my ex-wife in the house, but also, I kind of like Batman. When I first started making a little bit of money, I wanted to have a house filled with things that brought me joy. So I bought all this shit. It brings me no joy anymore. You know what brings me joy? Is paying my medical bills, paying my mortgage, paying my rent, paying for water. That's what that's what it brings me joy now. No one's allowed to judge what they're about to see, but a lot of people think I'm a hoarder and they aren't entirely wrong. This is one of those rooms that like after I got divorced, it was a guest room for a really long time. And then COVID happened and I stopped having house guests. So we just had to store stuff. That looks like my bedroom. It's just everything that i had in the old house before you know the house i had in america i had to bring it all the way over here on the border across the border to canada and i had to put it all in one friggin' room so now it's basically i basically live in a friggin' storage closet at my dad's house up here in ontario but uh, the thing was i mean if y'all saw the uh videos i used to do uh i did actually have one where you could see the entire house i was living in in america and it uh did not have a lot of furniture. It didn't have a lot of anything. It had like one recliner, one bed that I ended up uh giving to my stepsister, and the rest of the crap just kind of ended up in my room. And it's like every time I try to clean this place, I'm like, where do I put everything? You know, it's like a whole house worth of stuff in one room because I didn't have a lot. And I mean, honestly, I I tore up the front yard with that move too because i literally just had to take about half of the stuff that i had and just throw it out there you know on the side of the road for like the people to pick up like for whether they wanted to just pick it because i guess i don't know why they would but or the people that ran the dump trucks would pick it up so 
I don't know. I just tore up my front lawn with just like mountains of stuff. It was just, I just packed my stuff in the back of a U-Haul and just moved out of the country. So I don't know what happened there, but I did get my deposit back. So I guess it was all right. We came in the room, we stored it out. This is a really good one. This is my ex-wife's treadmill. And when she moved out, she's like, ah, oh, it's too old and clunky. I'm not gonna take it. Maybe you'll use it. Well, for the first couple of years, I did use it from time. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. At the time, but eventually I found out I would rather take my dogs out for a walk than to walk in one space. So now it's basically a towel rack. You could sell that boogie. You know, people do pay, you know, you can get a couple hundred bucks for it. I don't know what a treadmill will go for. I might get, be completely wrong. I've never thought about buying one, but I know that you can usually get a used Bowflex on, you know, Craigslist for three or $400, you know, when they're like retail for like a thousand or something. That's what most exercise equipment ends up being is a towel rack. So, you know, Craigslist boogie. I honestly don't know how to get it out of this room. I don't know how we. That's why you put it on Craigslist and whoever wants it, with, they can bring their own truck and they can figure out how to get it out of the room. Got it in this room. But if somebody wants this and will give me literally anything for it and can figure out how to get it. There you go. Five bucks, Boogie. I'll take the treadmill, then I'll flip it on Craigslist. <laughs> the hell out of my house. You can have it. I could buy a new towel rack. And I think a lot of people are used to seeing the background. I don't think everybody's really seen the foreground, like what I look at every day. So that might be interesting for you to see coming in, coming in. Uh, here is my setup and it's, I mean, it's basic, right? The PC from Meta PCs, my sponsor, they really hooked me up there, but everything else like the monitor is just kind of off the shelf of uh, a second monitor as well. Here you're gonna see a bunch of stuff that I've been selling on whatnot over the last year or so all of this stuff is up for sale and up for auctions oh my god uh, that super mario brothers 3 thing right there I, I want it i don't know how to get it and i'm not going to get boogie my docs but i'm going to find one like that because i love that the thing right in the middle the little super mario raccoon suit thing on the whatnot app um here's some props and stuff that i've used in the background but also um just some collectibles and things that i got from loot crate that i just never wanted to part with i really like some of the stuff but it's all piled up because there's so many gifts in here like this is all stuff that fans have sent me through the years or companies have sent me through the years and that makes me happy i things i buy don't make me happy things that people have given me or sent me